YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Jesus, aka Flacco, back with another video. You know, I know it's been a long, it's been a long time. It's probably been like about a year since I last dropped my last video. Um, I just been going through a lot of personal shit, including um school and stuff like that. Um, I am I am coming to the end of the year. I just need a couple more classes to go. I'm I'm gonna transfer out, so I just been working on applications and stuff like that. So you know, I was just um handling business, getting my shit together. Um. So that's why I, I stopped doing YouTube and I stopped doing a lot of like fun things that I used to do on the outside of my school life just because I wanted to stay focused and get shit done. Um, I just wanted to handle business and get it over with. So with the semester coming to an end, um, I, I was I was um, like kind of telling myself like, damn, I haven't dropped on YouTube. I love YouTube because I watch it every day, like other content creators and stuff like that. And it just motivates me to keep going and to come back. Um, I didn't quit. I just didn't um, have the time to make more videos. But you know, right now that I do have a little bit of time in my hands, I thought um, I actually got a new um, unreleased um, pair of Cherry 11s. They haven't came out. They dropped December 10th, I believe. I got the, the shock drop on the sneakers app and I got the dub. So that's that's a thumbs up right there. So I will be doing a, a, a review video with you guys. I just unboxed them from the Fed from the mailbox. So I haven't even seen them myself. I haven't unboxed them from the Jordan box. So you guys are going to see them with me and we're going to review them together. And you know what I'm saying? So um, just stay tuned. If you guys are new to the channel, um, like it up, subscribe. Um, I will be doing more reaction videos, more pranks this upcoming year. I might leave you guys like about um, two to three videos before this year ends, which is including this one right here. I did um, catch a dub on some chicago ones so i'll be doing a, a youtube um review on those two um on my next video i was gonna do it together but i was like you know what i haven't really dropped so i'll probably just do it um individually i do a review video on the 11s and then i'll do a separate video on the ones and yeah let's just see if we get any more doves this year all right guys it came um this is the box right here this is exactly the same box as the lows that i got that I, that I got a while back maybe like about a year and a half ago um let's do the unboxing so i haven't even seen them i'm barely about to see them right now by the looks of it they look gas these are it right here with the icy bottom red carbon fiber uh you know i don't really i'm not i'm not too um too much of a legit checker um I usually take them to get legit check before i even wear them just in case i, I always like to know like i got my stuff that are real I don't like wearing fake stuff, so I just make sure, you know, like, whether it's by my cousin, whether it's, like, at a store, I just make sure they're always legit because um, you just never know. Even a store that people buy a lot of things from, they say, like, oh, they're real because you got them from there. Nah, a lot of people have been through stuff where they cop things from um, stock X and their, their things come out to be fake. So you just never know, you know, so it's always good to get them legit check. But, yeah, this is the pair right here. They're unreleased. They dropped, like I said, I think December 10th. Uh, I got a early drop as well as my brother. Shout out my brother. He got them too. Same size. He actually, it was funny because I'm the one that told him about the early drop. He didn't even have an account on the sneakers app. And when they dropped, I got the notification. So I was on my phone and I was like, oh damn, they dropped. And my brother, it's funny because my brother told me like months back, like, oh yeah, these shoes are going to drop later this year. Whoop -de -woo. And then I was like, damn, bro, they're hard. And I didn't know they were coming to drop. So when I got the notification of a shock drop, I was like, damn, like, what's this? So I clicked on it and my brother made a whole account and it kept me waiting for like 15 minutes. It said pending. My brother, all he had to do was just put his card information and the rest of his information. As soon as he put confirm, boom, like it, that, that disappeared. And he just said, got him. And me, I was still on pending. So I was, I was low key mad. I wasn't hating because I was happy my brother got the shoe he wanted, but I was just mad. Like, damn, how he get him so fast? And me, like, I already have an account and stuff, and I'm still waiting. You know what I'm saying? So I was just, yeah, but um, luckily we both got him. No. You guys, um, go comment down below what you guys rate this shoe. Me, to be realistic, I probably rate it like around an eight. Just because the red is like, it's too bright. And I, I love the shoe. I love 11s. I actually had, I used to have the Concords. I used to have the Space Jams. Um, and I love the colorway on those because they're just like, it's a neutral color. It's black, black and white. This one is like, it's red. So it's like, damn, like when you, when you wear it, it's like, they, they instantly bring attention. 
and a lot of people actually like that when it comes down to shoes like they like their shoes to pop out um me i find them like there is a good shoe but i just don't see myself in the um in the red so um you guys help me out comment down below what you guys rate the shoe if you guys think i should resell it um and just spend the money on like the money i get off these spend it on on some other shoes that may be dropping or that already dropped that i could just buy um i actually compared it with um my low right here because um this is a dirty shoe already look as you guys can see i messed these up i wrecked these I'm, I'm gonna try to get them like really clean because i actually really like this shoe it's really comfortable um highs actually go more than lows but me um i prefer lows when it comes down to 11s i don't know why i feel like this just looks too bulky right here the top so i just prefer going with lows and as you guys know the cherry 11s have dropped already in um in lows i i think it was like maybe like seven years ago six years ago some something like that and they're actually going for four bills right now i checked on stock x and on goat they're going for around four to five bills so it's going to be interesting to see like the, the the price on these if they go high if they stay neutral like where they're at now um i checked and they're about 300 right now just with the drop so we should just wait and see like maybe when they release in december 10 they sell out people want to buy them we um that's where the real price is going to come out like damn does did it go up did it go down or did it stay the same but for me i think it's going to be a good shoe i think this shoe is going to go up in value just because of the it already has a cherry 11 they're just low so with this one is the high one um jordan 11 high tops usually go for, like i said they go for more so i'm actually really curious to see um the market the market value on these as time goes by because the cherry 11s did go up um as time went by i know because i used to have them back in the day i had them maybe back in like my freshman year of high school and yeah i i got rid of them sadly this is a shoe that i should have never got rid of because like i told you guys i actually really like um low tops when it comes down to 11s but yeah this shoe is a eight eight out of ten um i feel like my brother would probably hate me saying that because he actually fell in love with it he doesn't know if he should keep it or resell it and i told him i was like bro if you like it you should keep it because um shoes aren't just always to sell if you like the shoe wear the shoe if you don't sell it and buy yourself something that you like like me with this one i'm not too i'm not too sure but i know that if i end up like not liking the shoe just for some whatever reason i'll most likely end up going take it to like a resale store sell it a reseller or something um and just get something that i like you know make my money worth and buy something that i like that i'm gonna wear because i like to wear my stuff as you guys can see right here this one doesn't even have the shoelaces because uh, i'm cleaning them they're all ripped up and stuff i gotta go get these detailed <laughs> but yeah tell me um go comment down below and tell me what you guys think about these should i rock them should i sell them you guys let me know unreleased if someone if someone were to ask me what shoe i think is the shoe of the year i definitely wouldn't say this one uh it like i said it's a good shoe it's a perfect shoe um i just don't like that it has so much like well it's the cherry 11s it has so much red everybody should know that but i just don't like how the red looks it just looks too bright so i just wouldn't i i would say i'd, I'd say that i just wouldn't wear it for me if i would say um if you were to ask me what shoe is the shoe of the year i would say this one right here i'm not gonna show them yet because it is for my for my next video but this is the chicago ones the ones that took the dub um stay tuned for the next video if you guys want to see them there's gonna be a review on them you guys are gonna see everything that comes with the shoe and stuff like that i just got the dub maybe uh this past saturday when they dropped that's the shoe of the year to me um i did think um some fours that dropped earlier this year um were, would be the shoe of the year but nah once the chicago ones dropped that's when i was like nah this must be the shoe of the year like it's a great shoe great quality great jordan one overall as a classic everybody would want my bad y'all the, com the camera cut but like i said the jordan one is a shoe that a lot of people everybody would want to be honest be realistic it's a dope box look at the box it's like the just the detail of the box is a lot like the the value of this shoe is gonna go up the 2015 pair i checked in the market you know compared to these is a it's a really simple shoe but it's so expensive 
Um, but to me personally, even though this shoe goes up, I wouldn't sell it. It's, it's like an archive. It's a personal shoe. Why? Because shoes like this don't come out often. Like they just don't drop from one month to another. Just like the Panda Dunks have been dropping every other month. They're, they lost value. I don't care about the value of the shoe. If the shoe goes up, good. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I like it. Um, so it's just going to stay in the archives. But like I said, um, for those who've been here since day one, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for real for watching my videos. I promise you guys I'm going to be dropping more dope content for those that are sneakerheads or love sneakers just like me. I'm going to be um, showing you guys reviews on more shoes that come out or new shoes that I get. Um, just so you guys could see them with me and um, unbox them with me and stuff like that. Like the Jordan ones, I already saw them myself, but I would um, I want to I want you guys who haven't seen it to see them in person, see how they look. Um, before the value goes up, you guys could go get them. Maybe cop them for a little a little expensive, but it's better to cop them now than later when they go up about eight to a band. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys like the shoe give this video a thumbs up um rate it down in the comments um let me know if i should sell it. my fault guys the camera had died again but like i said um let me know in the count in the comments down below if i should keep it sell it what you guys think about it rate it one to ten um if any of you guys want to buy them off me size nine and a half let me know just in case i do decide to sell them but yeah stay tuned for other videos i'm gonna be dropping this week next week hopefully the following week Let's get it. Three videos before the end of the year. More videos coming down next year. Once I'm once I got more time, more more time um, means that I'm gonna be dropping more and more on YouTube. Cause this is what I love to do. I love YouTube. I love content. And yeah, let's get it.